Hey guys, Zesty Gaming here, and today we're going to be looking at the World Edit plugin. So basically, this plugin allows you to just manipulate blocks in a different way and at a larger scale. So you can like make huge boxes, you can copy and paste stuff, you can level entire mountains in seconds. It's just an amazing plugin to have if you're trying to build stuff, make arenas. It's just, I love this plugin, I use it on every single server. So, as always, links will be in the description. And just to download this plugin, you click the download button. Okay, so after you have it download, you just drag and drop into the plugins folder, like always, and then just start the server up. Okay, guys, to see if this um, installed correctly, you can go ahead and do slash slash help. And if it comes up with these commands, then you have installed it correctly, and it's ready to be run. Okay, so I went ahead and found this village, and now I'm going to demonstrate everything you can do with it. So first off, if you want, you have to select regions to edit them, so you can go ahead and use slash slash wand to give you a wand. And to select a region, you right click. Uh, yeah, you right click or left click first to get your position one, and then you left click to get your position two. And then you have this area selected, and you can do several things that, like with it after that. And also, you can do this too by doing slash slash pose one. Oh, no spaces. Pose one and slash slash pose two. This is like used if it's like in air and you have nothing to copy from. So as you can see, this is the selected region. So after we have that selected, we can go ahead and do stuff like set, and then let's just set it to one. Oh, oops, I, I, I seem to have um, put everyone in a block. So you see that giant box appears in the regions that I selected. So if you want to undo that, you can go ahead and just do slash slash undo. But if you decide you actually liked it, you can actually do slash slash redo and it'll bring it back. But I don't like that. So I'm just going to do slash slash undo. Another command that you can do with this is slash slash replace. Oh, sorry, spelled replace long. Replace. So what this will do actually is it will replace in the specific block to a different block. So let's replace block four with block five and as you can see now it's a whole wooden house everything's wooden and it looks just nice so another command that we can do is slash slash copy this is so we can copy and paste it anywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and you know, I'm just gonna put it over this ravine so I'm gonna do slash slash paste and now we have another house in the village for more villagers to live in. Okay, so now we have stuff in our clipboard. I'm going to show you what else you can do with it. So, you see how it's facing that way? We can do slash slash rotate. Rotate. And I'm going to do it 90 degrees. So now after we have that copy to our clipboard and rotated, it like rotates at 90 degrees. So if we do slash slash paste, it will now paste it rotated like as you can see now. Another thing like rotate is slash slash uh, flip, which I'm pretty sure just flip, and then I'm going to do direction north, and this goes ahead and flips it towards that way. It's like easier than rotating at 90 degrees, it's more specific on what you're doing. It's good for like if you want it to be very specific without having to guess the rotations if you don't know them. Okay, as we can see with this house over here that we have created, now we want to protect it, so we can go ahead and do... Since it's been selected over here, we can do slash slash wall. Oh, that didn't work. Walls. And let's do a wall of one. So it goes ahead and makes a great big wall around what you told it to make. So now you have your like your base protected, nothing to worry about it. This is great for like making a spawn that's protected or just in a boundary in an arena. Okay, now we wanna have now we wanna box this house in. It's a little present that we want to give to our girlfriend. So let's do outline. And then let's go to one. So now there's an outline instead of just a wall. So as you can see, um, there's a roof now, and you can go ahead and break that roof, and now you're in. So now you have a little bit of a base. It's kind of like a vault. It's really useful for um, making just squares, like huge squares that you need for like arenas or anything you want to do with it. Another really cool function that there is in this is stack. So I want to stack up one. Oh. Oops, and then I had it backwards. So now it stacks those region blocks on top of it. And let's say we want to stack it to the left. Now it's stacked to the left one. It's very useful. So um, let's say we want to make a huge row of houses, 
and it's gonna be like a huge city now so we do stack one to the left and it starts copying it's gonna take a while because how many I did this is just great for like making cities and minecraft really useful so as we can see um, it's still loading it might take a while this is my test server so it's not running on that much RAM and as you can see it's done now so now we have a cool little neighborhood of houses just sitting there so the move function the move function is basically copying and pasting but just eh, with less steps so you just do slash slash move one and it moves it over one let's say I want to move it over like 100 cuz I really don't like this house let's see where did they put it the tree on a fire over there well, oh, I guess I moved it like a little bit. Oh, there it is. See, look, now it's moved. It's been moved 100 blocks, and you can specify which way you want to by adding another parameter at the end. But it defaults to north, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now we're going to go over a little bit more advanced stuff. So we're going to do slash slash hollow cylinder. Oh, ah. Hollow cylinder. With, like, this just does what it says it does. It makes a hollow cylinder, so let's do it. Um, let's make it 1 and then like 10 oops so now it has created a hollow cylinder with the blocks 1 and 10 so now we can also do that and then we can add in another depth like we can add a Y depth I'm pretty sure by doing another 10 and I of course put it offset because it sets you to the center of it so you can make both 2d and 1 2d and 3d blocks with this it's really useful um, you can also do slash slash if you get rid of that H I'll make a regular cylinder that's been filled in and of course I'm probably gonna spawn in the middle of it so let me just mine my way out so that created a non hollow cylinder this is just really good for like map making and all that so another thing like this is sphere which creates a sphere I'm gonna make it um, glass because it's pretty cool to have glass and I'm gonna do it maybe let's say 10 blocks and I have been put in the center of it. So let me just mine out. So now it created a um, a sphere with um, a radius of 10. I'm pretty sure it might be diameter. I forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a radius of 10. So this is really useful for like making floating arenas, like for kit PVP. And then also you can do like with the thing you can do a hollow sphere of glass. And let's say we want to fill this glass with lava this is just a really cool like you can make a sun looking thing oh oops um yep that will work now let's try to mine my way out of here okay before that falls down so now as you can see we have a little like a sun thing at just a really good centerpiece for like a map it looks really cool so that was a basic tutorial world edit of course there's a lot more advanced things you can do in it that i haven't gone into detail yet so if you like the video please like the video and comment rate and subscribe see ya